After months of negotiations and stalled talks, President Joe Biden and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have reached an agreement on an infrastructure bill. On this vote, the yeas are 67, the nays are 32. The motion upon reconsideration is agreed to. The $1.1 trillion package includes $550 billion in new spending, $110 billion for highways, $65 billion to expand broadband internet, and $73 billion to modernize the electric grid. By one estimate, it would create roughly 500,000 new manufacturing jobs by the year 2024. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders says that if the bipartisan bill fails the final vote, he wants to add the spending into the larger $3.5 trillion spending plan, focusing on things like child care and education. Clearly, with 50 members, everyone has a slightly different point of view, and I'm going to have to work to accommodate each one of those points of view. But at the end of the day, we are going to pass this legislation. It will be the most significant step forward for working families since FDR in the 1930s and the New Deal. Democrats plan to use a process called reconciliation to move the $3.5 trillion bill through the Senate without GOP support.